Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox, and it's the last one of the day. And I do like to end on something bright and uplifting. Well, we've got something bright and uplifting because it seems that Douglas Ross is in agreement with, well, us. Because he says that he thinks Hamza Youssef will be gone, certainly by before the end of the year, if not sooner. And great news, he's also, not officially, but kind of unofficially calling for tactical voting. Even he thinks that uh, a Labour member would be better, I think, than an SNP member. Although, of course, he'd prefer a Tory in whatever seats they can get. Uh, the polls are pretty bad for the Tories, of course, but they're not that bad. They're not as bad as they have been. And uh, as long as they think the SNP lose, I think everybody is going to win. So we'll take a look here to see what Ross is saying um, and sort of read between the lines a bit because he's, he's obviously not coming out saying, look, I want to enter into a formal agreement with tactical voting, but yeah, he's kind of dropping the hint. And this goes along with the, the, the video of the other day where we looked at the, the, the tactical voting in your area, wherever it may be, and you know who to vote for in order to get the SNP out. So with that in mind, let's take a look. And it is a glorious headline. Now, before we get into it, of course, this being the last one of the day, may I ask, as this is my last opportunity, do please hit the subscribe button. We need to grow the channel. We are political. YouTube hates political channels and pushes us down in the algorithm. When you hit subscribe, we get a lift and it does make a massive difference. So do please subscribe. Now, Hamza Yousaf gone by the end of the year. I'm not entirely sure he won't be gone by Easter. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him. And that, of course, is exactly one month today. Uh, Easter, it's an awkward Easter. Sorry, oh, automatically straight into a tangent. It's an automatic, it's a weird Easter because Easter is on a Sunday. It's Easter Sunday, obviously. It's my birthday. And it is also the day the clocks go back, which uh, jump, go forward, sorry. Which means I only get a 23 hour birthday. Sucks to be me. And nobody will buy me a present, but I will get some eggs. Oh, joy. Anyway, that's the day, I reckon, by the way, that uh, Hamza Youssef may be gone by, possibly. But uh, Douglas Ross reckons Nat members will topple their hapless and helpless and hopeless leader, as he also is predicted the SNP to suffer the worst losses than in 2017. Oh, they are going to get wiped. Uh, they are going to be absolutely slaughtered at the general election. That's without a doubt. Um, it's just a case of how bad the slaughter is. But tactical voting is, of course, the key. Uh, Hamza Youssef will not be SNP leader by the end of 2024. It has been claimed as nationalist members are tipped to topple the hapless first minister. Well, already backbenchers, um, both at uh, Westminster and Holyrood, are seeing that Hamza Youssef is toxic. He's a liability. People see him and think loser and it sort of rubs on that. That's a, that's a stain that's smeared across the whole party. And so they know that. And it's like, oh, for God's sake, will you go and give us a chance? You know, Nicola Sturgeon's chosen successor has endured a torrid time since taking over the top job in March last year. Well, he's been leader in name only because um, he hasn't really led, has he? He's a lino. Uh, because he hasn't made the decisions. he hasn't. People haven't given him respect. People are going and just going behind his back. Mary Black, for example, is just, just loathes him. You can tell that by the way she just does what she wants. Uh, there's another one, thank God she's going. Uh, the people of Paisley will be much better off regardless. Vote in, vote in a dog, you get a better bloody service. Uh, anyway, with the Nats tanking in the polls and unable to win a by-election, Scottish Tory leader Douglas Ross reckons members will take action to remove the Glasgow Pollock MSP from Butte House. Um, he's been there for not quite a year, almost a year, uh, and they've had nine by-elections in that time, and he's lost all nine, and then says he's not a loser, and even if he loses the general election, he says he's not going to resign. I think people may have a word on that one. Anyway, he also predicted the SNP would face a worse general election than 2017 when it lost 21 seats. There was, a, there was one the other day, and I know... Probably an outlier, but it was saying that they could lose 30 seats. I mean, joy of joy if they could. But you've got to just say it is a bit of an outlier. But it's all to do with tactical voting. 
if you can do it tactically vote and get them out and boy everybody wins uh, anyway he made the appeal now here we go here we go this is where he's saying it he made the appeal to pro uk voters to rally behind the tories in seats they hold or where they are the smp's nearest challengers as he targeted wiping out the smp in rural scotland mr ross is preparing for the weekend scottish conservative conference in aberdeen the party is struggling in the polls across the uk but some pollsters predict they will hold on to their six scottish seats and could even add a seventh now when he's saying vote for where we're already in but also where we're the challengers what he's saying there is without saying the words tactical voting he's saying tactical voting uh, the SNP has started its campaign with the message that it wants to make score at Scotland Tory free but Mr Ross reckons it should be the Nat leader who is worried uh, they keep going about all oh, Tory free Tory free the Tories aren't the problem for uh, for Hamza Yousaf Labour they're the ones that are going to hand Hamza Yousaf his arse in a bag anyway he said I think we've got a real opportunity this is Ross again I think we've got a real opportunity and if we can deal a blow to the SNP in seats up and down the country by returning as many Scottish Conservatives as possible, then that will show people within the SNP that Hamza Youssef has got completely the wrong priorities for Scotland. And it's not the right person to lead the SNP if they suffer significant defeats. Well, that's all they've had. They've lost every court case. Since he's been leader, they've lost every court case and they've lost every election. And he still says he's not a loser. Anyway, he described Mr Yousaf's leadership as awful and added he has been pitiful as First Minister. He has lurched from one crisis to another. He's had some opportunities to show leadership and has refused to take them. He's not a leader. This is the thing. He's, he's a naughty little boy. He's, a, he's, he's an inadequate man who's found himself in the position he's in without any experience of leadership or knowledge of how to deal with real people. And of course, this is showing and this is telling and people look at this and they see. And they, you, when you look at Abzus, you don't see leader. You don't see a man of authority. You see a desperately sad man trying his hardest to try and coalesce around him. A whole different disparate bunch of people, most of whom loathe him. It's not good. Anyway, Mr Ross also predicted tactical voting could play a part in rural parts of Scotland, where it is a straight fight between the Tories and the SNP. And he set his sights on taking rural Scotland blue and the country heads to the polls. If pro-UK voters unite behind Scottish Conservative seats right across the country, we can wipe, right, wipe them out of rural Scotland. If you look at the north and northeast and the south of Scotland, these are areas that have been neglected and ignored by successive SNP governments. And I get the strong feeling from local people, he says, that they want to send a message to Hamza Yousaf. Oh, I think Hamza Yousaf will be definitely getting a message come October or whenever the election is, probably October. Uh, I think the message he'll be getting is on your bike, matey. Anyway, I shall stop there. I shall finish off. We'll come up and finish the video. So let's see if I'm right. I'm probably not, I'll be honest. But if he's gone by Easter, I will I will be overjoyed. I will be prepared to to um, exuberantly celebrate. It'd be, it'd be absolutely cracking if he was. That would be, in fact, if he can go before, less than a year, before his year's anniversary, just to really rub it in. Let's not even give him the joy of a first anniversary. Anyway. Thanks very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button. Absolutely massively helps the channel. Please hit the like on the video. Leave a comment, share the video, and I will speak to you tomorrow or in a flash, but tomorrow in the long form. Thanks a lot. Bye.